The first part of any good cleaning routine is to make all the beds. Proper cleaning routine follows the same routine we told you when we prepped the unit. It begins at the washer dryer area and proceeds counterclockwise ending up at the kitchen. Wiping down the louvers and then proceeding counterclockwise into the guest bedroom. Proceeding into the guest bedroom being responsible for the top and sides of the bureau since all the drawers are closed. Jane's then going to clean the inside of the trash basket and wipe down the outside to make sure it's nice and clean. She's going to check to make sure the closet door mirrors are clean. These are looking pretty good, but she's just going to remove any and all spots. She's then going to get her window sill good continuing, you notice, counterclockwise all the way around. Continuing counterclockwise, working from between the two twin beds. See how easy that is? She's now ready to proceed to the guest bathroom. In the bathroom, we clean the trash container inside and out. Make sure as we finish cleaning the toilet property, it is all dried and thoroughly cleaned. You always finish cleaning a toilet by drying it down thoroughly and proceed to the shower. After the tub and shower enclosure is cleaned, you make sure the enclosure glass is shiny. Oops, did you see what she did? That's one of the biggest no-nos that a professional housekeeper can do. When she was done cleaning the toilet, she then started to clean the shower with the same rag. That violates every principle of a septic or sanitary cleaning technique imaginable. When you're done with the toilet, that rag is done forever. When you're done with the shower, that rag is done forever. Don't ever forget that. Then proceed to the mirror. Work from the high areas down to the low areas, not forgetting the medicine cabinet. Making sure the chrome is shiny. And since the prepper left open a couple of the cabinet doors, we clean inside those and then make sure there's no spills or anything on the fronts of the cabinets. And we're ready to proceed into the living area. All the objects on the shelves are cleaned by lifting and cleaning them quite carefully. After you've cleaned the shelves and the glass doors, you proceed down getting the TV and the screen. And after you close the doors, you make sure the fronts of the cabinets don't have any smudges or streaks. And you're ready to proceed to the master bedroom. Continuing counterclockwise, she's going to clean the TV and the TV stand. And then just past them are two pictures on the wall. She's going to clean the top and fronts. And then starting at the bureau, she'll get the top edge of the bureau and the mirrors. She's going to lift and clean the bureau top. clean the open drawer inside and then she'll check the front of the bureau to see if there's any marks or spills and she's ready to proceed to the master bath. 
continuing counterclockwise because if you follow the same routine, you tend not to miss anything. We're going to get the trash can. We finish cleaning the shower and tub enclosure by shining all the chrome. After you've cleaned the toilet thoroughly using a bowl swab in your toilet bowl cleaner, you use a clean rag to dry it. You then start at the top of the vanity area. If you can reach them, cleaning the vanity bulbs with a dry rag and proceeding on down cleaning the mirror, making sure that you don't forget the medicine cabinet. Then at the next level, you take the soap dish out and you clean the soap dish well and put it in its place and clean the sink and the cabinet top, making sure the chrome is dried nice. And since the cabinet doors are closed underneath, you only need to make sure that the fronts of the cabinets are clean. Jane is finishing up cleaning the tile floor in this bathroom at this time so that she doesn't have to come back later in her cleaning routine. We're now going to put the tape on pause so your trainer can explain the preferred method of cleaning hard surface floors at your property. getting half the bed frame and all the shelves on this side of the bed, proceeding around the bed, repeating the procedure, the other half the bed frame, the lamp and the bedside table. Jane's now ready to continue counterclockwise and go out and wipe off the patio furniture. Jane is finishing up the proper cleaning of her patio floor while she is in this area. And notice we've taught her to use a sponge mop since the area is much, much larger than the bathroom floor. We don't want her damaging her back or knees. We come across Jane almost done with her counterclockwise routine in the kitchen. She's saving the sink area to the end so she can use it as a workstation. She cleaned her refrigerator and then proceeded counterclockwise, getting the microwave, the stove, and all the cabinet tops. When she was done cleaning the burner pans, all she now has to do is clean the island and sink area, and her kitchen is completed. Next, go through the entire unit, placing all the bath linens and guest supplies in the unit. Please put the tape on pause so your trainer can explain how much of each guest supply goes in your unit and how bath towels and bath linens are to be displayed. Next is the vacuum, starting in the farthest corner of the unit, proceeding as close to the entry as you can. Next, we're going to sweep the entry tile, and since, as you recall, when we did the guest bathroom, we didn't sweep and mop that floor. The reason is because the bathroom and hall tile are all connected to the entry tile, so we're going to sweep and mop it all at once. We now mop our way out the door so that we'll never have to re-enter the unit again. So ends an effective cleaning routine for a one-store unit.